happy holidays. My name is Tony Cradifield. I'm the Metro Region Engineer for the Michigan Department of Transportation. A little overcast, but it's a great day. What a great thing we're here to celebrate today, this reopening of the Nine Mile Road Bridge over I-75. Last July, this bridge was destroyed as a result of a terrible crash and fire on I-75 just below us. And now, only five months later, we're able to stand here on a brand new bridge, which has reconnected the community of Hazel Park across I-75. Normally, a new bridge like this follows a five-year cycle from concept through planning, through design, through preparation of contract documents, to bidding, to construction. Yet all this work was done in just five months. Some might call this miraculous. And while we truly count our blessings today, that no one lost their life in the crash, and the bridge is reopening so quickly. There was no miracle here. No, this accomplishment is a result of how individuals, people here in this community, and people here in Michigan, use the blessings of their talents, their ingenuity, their hard work, and their determination. And who, came, who as a team, rose to the occasion of a great challenge, and came together to make the seemingly impossible become today's reality. In a moment, Paul Adjaba, uh, my deputy region engineer, will acknowledge and thank some of the people who really did the heavy lifting and made the biggest contributions to the success of this project. But let me say to each of you that had a hand in this project, thank you for a job well done. You've made us all extremely proud. You've demonstrated the grit and determination that makes us Michiganians. As we celebrate today and in the days to come, let this bridge and the people that made this day possible serve examples and reminders that we can accomplish whatever we set our minds to. That despite the daunting challenges and despair that at times seem to overcome us, if we apply our ingenuity, our hard work, and our determination, and do so by coming together as a team, we can succeed and do great things. Thank you all for coming out today, and congratulations to everyone involved in this, uh, in this great success. Thank you, Tony. Again, good morning, everyone. Um, when this bridge went down in July, we met with the city. I made a promise to the city that we will get it back up in record time. And this couldn't have been possible without the hard work and dedication of a whole lot of people behind the scenes. I'm going to Call a few names, recognize them. I hope I don't embarrass any of you guys. Uh, Chris Youngs from my Lansing office. Raise your hand any, when I call your name. Uh, Gerard Pulowski was the uh, project manager. Uh, Laurie Swanson, uh, Eric Mueller, Bruce Caldwell. Uh, Ahmad Asmude is not here, but he was very instrumental in getting the cleanup work done and opening up the freeway in five days. And uh, that's a record. So I want to, of course, acknowledge these guys and let them know that we, as a department, appreciate all the hard work they put into it. i also like to acknowledge a few consultants that work behind the scenes to make this happen as well. Scott Shogun from uh, Boston Brinkerhoff and all the staff at URS. And uh, last but not least, the contractor Walter Toby, they worked 24 7 to get this bridge up in record time in about two and a half months, and I think this is something to celebrate. So please give them all a hand for me. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, Dennis Kohler from the Road Commission for Oakland County to say a few words on behalf of the county. Well, good morning on this nice misty morning. On behalf of the Road Commission for Oakland County, uh, we see Nine Mile Road as a very important part of the network. Even though this is a city street, those who travel city streets or Road Commission streets really don't know the difference. But I want to congratulate MDOT and the city for turning around this project in record time. So congratulations. Thank you, Dennis. Again, uh, MDOT recognized 
the importance of this bridge connecting east and west city of Hazel Park. When it went down, again, we met with the city. Uh, the city was extremely, extremely helpful in getting us to this point. And I would like to introduce Ed Klobuchar, the city manager, to say a few words on behalf of the city and uh, the mayor as well to come up and say a few words. Good morning, welcome to Hazel Park. I'm joined today by uh, my city council, Mayor Pro Tem Jan Parisi, Councilman Andy Lecuro, Mayor Jack Lloyd, and Councilman Jeffrey Key. You know, when Paul Ajaba told me that he was going to have this bridge completed by the first of the year, I didn't believe him. I didn't think that it was possible. Uh, I've got to compliment the Michigan Department of Transportation on an absolutely outstanding job well done to complete this bridge uh, on time, actually ahead of schedule. This bridge is critically important to the city of Hazel Park's economy, and because of the quick action of the Michigan Department of Transportation, uh, this road has been restored. So uh, my hat is off to them. Paul, uh, Rob, Lori, and the rest of the team at MDOT, they just did uh, an outstanding job, and uh, I compliment them. I would also like to thank uh, the office of uh, Congressman Sander Levin, who has been uh, extremely supportive of the city of Hazel Park throughout this entire process. I turn it over now to my mayor, Jack Lloyd. I just want to say thank you very much for everyone's responses so quickly to get it done. They talked about an early Christmas present, and I think we've got one. For the businesses and everyone that are here today, I want to give my best congratulations on coming out today and opening this bridge so we can congratulate all these fine people and thank you for coming out today. Everyone did a great job. You opened it up and we certainly appreciate your support. The most affected is the businesses around the area. They suffered the most. So we ought to all support our local businesses and thank you very much. Welcome. Happy holidays. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, often we don't recognize a contractor when they do a good job. We always believe, well, they get paid to do the work anyway, but sometimes to get this kind of work done in such a record time, you need the dedication of a well-seasoned contractor. So I'm going to call up uh, Bob Jones for Walter Toby to say a few words on behalf of the contractor. Guys, um, be quite honest, I think I've been with the Toby Company for almost 20 years. This is the first bridge opening I've ever been to. Usually, uh, we kind of let that go by the wayside and just watch it on TV. But felt a little compelled to come today really to acknowledge the guys that were on the job, the guys that we had working that sacrificed a lot of weekends, a lot of nights, a few holidays, um, and as well with the MDOT staff. Um, that was a true partnering that we had on this job. Um, the URS, the MDOT, the PB people did an excellent job. You know, it was amazing the amount of phone calls that we had on Sunday mornings that typically don't happen until Monday. You know, the way people jumped on stuff, it really helped out in getting this thing done on time. And also just wanted to thank, you know, some of these local businesses. Uh, the guy over at the Days Inn donated his property to us so we could have a storage facility. I know Tubby's and Wendy's and McDonald's were working overtime bringing food to our guys. So just want to really thank the community for everything they did and the whole project team. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Well, that concludes our program. We're going to have a ribbon cutting back here. And uh, please, everyone, join us in uh, celebrating this occasion. Thank you all for coming out. Appreciate it.